everyone. I'd like to welcome everyone to the Town of Monroe's reorg meeting, January 4th, 2021. Uh, appreciate everyone's or eyes for the Pledge of Allegiance. Until you <laughs> okay. uh, all right a uh, couple of couple of announcements uh, first thing is councilman Scancarello will not be here this evening he had a personal matter to attend to uh, so uh, it will just be the four of us that's number one number two uh, we have this beautiful uh, Monroe calendar which was produced uh, by uh, uh, Emery and Jen, uh, and the photos uh, essentially were done by Ed Scully, and he did all the, uh, the artwork and everything inside of it. It's $5, we have to charge tax, so it comes to $5.41, and it is available if you uh, send a request into N Lombardi at MonroeNY.org. That's N as in Nick Lombardi, L-O-M-B-A-R-D-I, at MonroeNY.org. So it's got 12 months in there. Also has meeting dates, holidays, uh, planning board workshops, conversation, uh, co conservation commission meetings, ZBA, and town board meetings. So uh, it was well done, and he's already started to work on the 2021 one. So I'll, it's nice I'll give you yours tonight. You, you paid for four, right? Yeah. All right. yeah I'll see you when you... Yeah. Yeah, I figured that. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Oh, we get our arms going here. I, <laughs> uh, item number uh, four point one. Uh, need a motion to open the yeah, meeting. Yeah, we need a motion to start the meeting. I'll make a motion to open the meeting. Call on a second. Call a question. Bing am I. Call on I. Call on I. Aye. Okay, so move. Uh, Number one, uh, town law, section 25, requires the oath of office for every town official within 15 days after commencement of office. We do not have anybody who commenced office, Mary Ellen, correct? So we're good there. All right, uh, 5.1, uh, acting supervisor, I'd like to make a motion uh, to appoint Rick Cologne as acting supervisor with a term to expire on 12. 31-21. I'll, I'll second that motion. Call the question. Bingham I. Come on, I. Cardo and I. Can I? Okay. Sal there, sorry. Yeah, I know. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Tony. Uh, okay, uh, Registrar of Vital st Statistics, uh, Mary Ellen Beams. Uh, we need a motion uh, to, I guess, well, I, come on to make the motion. Acknowledge that she is. Vital statistics. Uh, yeah, register of vital statistics, statistics, which is coterminous with her term of office as town clerk and public health laws 4121 and 4123. So Cologne made that. I'll second it. Call the question. Ingham I. Cologne I. Cardone I. Ingham I. Okay, 5.3. Uh, we'd like to appoint, uh, I'll make a motion to appoint Patty Cash, Patricia Cash as Deputy Registrar with a term to expire 12-31-2021. I will second. Call the question. Bingham I. Cologne I. Cardone I. I. Okay. Item 5.4, uh, uh, make a motion to appoint uh, Town Clerk Marion Beams as the Town Marriage Officer pursuant to the provisions of the Domestic Relations Law. Second. Call the question. Bingham I. Cologne I. Cardone I. Okay, item 5.5, tax collector. 
Uh, I'll make a motion that the town board of the town of Monroe hereby appoints Mary Ellen Beams as tactical, tax collector with a term to expire 12-31-21. Hold on a second. And the only other thing we want to add is uh, tax collection hours are 9 to 2, Monday through Friday? Yes. Okay. And you also have the opportunity to pay online? Yes, we are doing the e-checks, uh, credit card, debit card, and also this year, because of COVID, we are not accepting cash, um, but we are taking credit cards over the phone. So this way, people don't have to come into the office. Okay, so motion seconded by... Don't call the question. Ing am I. Don't I. Don't I. I. Okay. Item 5.6, Deputy Tax Collector, uh, be resolved at the Town of Monroe, uh, Town Board, uh, hereby appoints Patricia Cash as Deputy Tax Collector, term to expire 12-31-21. Call the question. Ing am I. Don't I. Don't I. Okay. Uh, Kaiser, can I ask that this be held over? This is my yes. uh, liability insurance. Liability insurance. It won't okay. be ready until the next meeting. All right, I'll make a motion that we table item 5.7, tax collector's liability Second. certificate. Second, call the question. King am I. Cardone, I. Cardone, I. Okay, item 5.8, town engineer. Uh, we just have to, we have to approve McGooey, Hauser, and Edsel. So I'll make a motion to approve McGooey, Hauser, and Edsel as town engineer with their term to expire at 12-31-21. Second. Discussion, uh, Brian and I are in the process of reviewing that contract. We've gone over a couple of aspects of it uh, that uh, I've already spoke to Lyle about that we need to either remove or <laughs> tighten up a little bit. Uh, tighten them up, Mr. Supervisor. Yes, no, we will. If anybody's got any questions, feel free to, you know, give me a call. I could send the... Send a proposed contract to everyone just so you got a chance to look at it. So you want to hold that over until the... Uh, well, no, we can, appoint, we can appoint them. We're just not approving the contract. Okay. All mm -hmm. right. That's fine. All right. So we just need a second on that. I'll second. Call the question. Bing am I. Cardone, I. Cardone, I. Okay. Uh, I'll make a motion to appoint uh, Jim Nelson as the town of Monroe historian with his term to expire at 12 31 21. I'd like to second that. Call the question. Bing am I. Cardone, I. Cardone, I. Aye. Okay. Uh, deputy Town Clerks, uh, I would like to make a motion to appoint the first Deputy Town Clerk, Patricia Cash, and the second Deputy Town Clerk, Valerie Bitzer, with terms that expire 12-31-2023, which are called terminus... To you don't need... No. Deputy clerks in my appointment. Okay. I'll, I'll rescind that motion. Uh, 8.1, uh, John, you want to, uh, you know. Appoint Bill Brown again. Okay. Second that motion. William Brown. So, so you, yeah, you, you, you make the motion, Mike. I'll second it. Uh, that term expires 12-31-2021 as Deputy Superintendent of Highways. Uh, I'll call the question. Ing am I. Cardone, I. Cardone, I. Okay. Uh, planning board appointments. Uh, the only one is uh, I'll make a motion uh, to appoint uh, Anthony Vaccaro as planning board member, slot number five, with a term to expire, excuse me, 12-31-27. Bring him to second. Call the question. Ing am I. Cardone, I. Cardone, I. And I. Okay, so moved. Uh, town board would, would like to hereby appoint Bonnie Franson as planning board chairperson with that term to expire at 12 31 21. At least second that. Call the question. King am I. Cardone, I. Cardone, I. Okay, uh, be it resolved that the town board of the town of Monroe hereby appoints Austin Seed. Uh, as Zoning Board of Appeals member, slot number two, with a term to expire 12-31-2025. On a second. Call the question. King am I. Cardone, I. Cardone, I. I. Okay. Uh, be resolved that the Town Board of Town of Monroe hereby appoints Mike Murphy as Zoning Board of Appeals chairperson, with that term to expire 12-31-21. I'll make that motion. Bring him to second. 
Call the question. Bingham, aye. Cardone, aye. Cardone, aye. And I. Uh, item 10.3, Zoning Board of Appeals attorney appointment. Uh, be resolved that the Town Board of Town of Monroe appoints uh, the firm of Ferrick Nugent McCartney as Town of Monroe Zoning Board of Appeals attorney. Second. Call the question. Bingham, aye. Cardone, aye. Cardone, aye. Aye. Okay. Item 11.1, uh, Town Council appointment. Be it resolved that Town Board of Town of Monroe appoints the firm of Dewey, Cheatham, and Howe as Town of Monroe. Oh, I'm sorry. Sorry. Uh, appoints the firm of Ferrick Nugent McCartney as Town of Monroe Town Council attorney. I'll second that motion. I was happy to do it the first time. Yes. <laughs> and uh, I'm always honored to make that, that appointment every year at the reward meeting. So. All right. So, Mayor, give, give, give him again credit for the, uh, for the motion. I'll second it. I'm just trying to move things along, sorry. No, listen, you, you, get, you cops got to stick together. I get it. Oh, please. Oh, oh, oh. We, we heard that already from a, a previous supervisor. God that's, why, that's why I said yeah. it. So, all right. Uh, call the question. Ingham, I. Hello, and I. Cardo, and I. McGinn, I. Okay, so move. Uh, we, the only appointment to the ethics board is a reappointment uh, for Amory Morris as board of ethics member, slot number one. We need a town uh, employee to be on that, uh, and that term expires 12 31 23. On the second. Call the question. Ingham I. On I. Pardon I. Okay. Uh, wait, I'm sorry. There are other ones for yeah, George. Yeah. yeah, so uh, be, be resolved, the town board of town Monroe hereby appoints George Tanner as board of ethics member, slot number three, with a term to expire 12 31 23. Second. Call the question. Ingham, I. Cardone, I. Cardone, I. I. Okay. Uh, don't have any other members to appoint there. If anybody is interested, please send a resume to J. Schnars, S C H N A A R S, at MonroeNY.org. Uh, there's actually two because uh, John Vest actually resigned, so his slot is open as well. Uh, okay, be it resolved that the Town Board of Town of Monroe hereby appoints Charlie Pakula as Conservation Advisory Council Member, slot number one, with a term to expire, 12 31 22. I'll make that motion. Bingham to second. Call the question. Bingham aye. Cardone aye. Cardone aye. Okay, there are three vacancies on the Conservation Advisory Council Committee. Uh, Let's see, 14.1, Smith Grove Park Commission. Uh, be it resolved that the Town Board of Town of Monroe approves to appoint or reappoint Chris Sullivan to the Town of Monroe uh, Park Commission, uh, slot number three of the Monroe Joint Park Commission, sorry, with a term to expire 12 31 2025. Do I have a second? I'll second. Call the question. Bingham, aye. Cardone, aye. Cardone, aye. Okay, the, there is another vacancy, so if anybody's interested in joining the Park Commission, uh, John Battaglia, who was the chair for quite a few years, has uh, resigned uh, his position there, and we, we will miss John and his, his work uh, as chairman there. Uh, okay, so going forward from here, so I would like to make a blanket resolution for items number 15 through number 28. Uh, so I'd like to make a resolution that the board pass those as long as everyone has read them. Uh, it's pretty much uh, rubber stamp items, mileage reimbursement, rules of procedure, uh, Robert's Rules of Order, uh, Edition, the eleventh, the eleventh edition, <laughs> two thousand eleven edition, yes. right? <laughs> uh, depositories, newspapers, special meetings, etc. So, go on to uh, go on to second. Any other discussion? Call the question. Ingham, I. Cologne, I. Cardone, I. I. Okay. Uh, item twenty nine, acceptance of minutes. So I need a motion to accept the uh, minutes of twelve seven twenty twenty. I'll make that motion. Call the question. Bingham, I. Come on, I. 
Oh, all right. Uh, second. I'll yeah. second it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Call the question. Bingham, I. Cologne, I. Cardone, I. I. Okay. Uh, item 29.2, the acceptance of minutes from 12-14-2020. That was our uh, Zoom meeting. Yes. So I'll, I'll make a motion to accept those. I will second. Call the question. Bingham, I. Cologne, I. Cardone, I. I. Okay. All right. Uh, under new business, uh, item 30.1, we have a resolution authorizing the supervisors to execute waiver and consent, doc and consent document. Uh, we were gifted through someone's will. A uh, gentleman's name is Gerbert Brower, no relation to Ward, uh, who was uh, kind enough to put the town of Monroe as a beneficiary in his will, and we have to... Uh, uh, execute a waiver of process and consent so they can probate uh, the form and that be submitted to the Orange County Surrogates Court. Council, do you want to expand on that? Or? No, the, the waiver and consent is pretty standard in surrogate proceedings. Uh, the only exception, you wouldn't sign this if you were contesting the will or family members or things like that. So otherwise, it's a pretty standard document. And I don't think the town has any basis to contest the will. Well, it's a gift. It's a gift of money, and right now we're not sure as to the amount because it is basically an amount that will be. Very kind. Yeah, very kind of him. I, I, very I, kind of him. I, I, I will say this. If it, I don't know, did you know him, Ward? No. No. So. Uh, it, B r o u w e r. First name is Gerbrand. Yeah. So if you look him up online, you will find out that he was a, a very esteemed hat maker. And he actually made hats for a bunch of queens, people like Phyllis Diller. And, and, and I would say the most famous hat he made, although he did not get credit for it because it was commissioned by Halston, but he's the one that designed and made it, was Jackie Onassis's pillbox hat. From the assassination. Yeah. Wow. Wow, that's, yep. that's something else. Yeah. There's a little bit of Monroe history for it. Yeah, exactly. Incredible. So, uh, uh, I really don't want to give, I don't, I'll tell you after. I, I don't want to give that out publicly, but, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, uh. So I'd like to make a motion to... Uh, I'll make that motion since the supervisor has to sign. Yes. Yep. So I'll make a motion for the supervisor to be authorized to execute uh, any documents necessary for uh, the acceptance. <laughs> I'll second that. Question? Bring them I. Cologne, I. Cardone, I. And I. Okay, so moved. No. Uh, resolution extending senior citizens and individual with disabilities with limited income exemption opt-in. Uh, this was an executive order by the governor. Uh, I would rather let Brian de de describe it. I understand it, but. Yeah, so typically uh, for senior exemptions and disability exemptions for local tax exemptions, they, an application is filed every year. So the governor signed an executive order basically stating that those individuals, if the town adopts this resolution, those individuals can basically just have that e exemption extended without making application, unless the town has some reason to believe that they should make an application, the assessor could still require it. But assuming that he's satisfied they would get the exemption, it just basically allows the assessor to continue the exemption in 2021 without requiring the seniors and those that are disabled uh, to have to come in or, or submit an application for the exemption. Obviously related in a lot, lot of respects to COVID yes. and that we're trying to limit the amount of people that access the building. So it's a, you know, it's a smart move on our part if we approve this. And uh, our, our assessor, Rip uh, uh, Royce Noblin, you know, had, had, had wanted this done, so. So, uh, Sounds good. Can I second? Did we second? No, good. You make the motion if you want. Uh, you made the motion? I'll make the motion. I'll second. Colonna second. Call the question. Ingham, I. Colonna, aye. Cardone, aye. Good night. Okay, so moved. Excellent. 
Uh, last one, last item under new business is uh, town hall postage meter lease renewal. Uh, our postage meter is uh, leases up. Uh, we'll be getting new equipment. There will be swapping out the old equipment. Uh, the terms of the lease are 60 months, and there's a quarterly payment of $887.31. So. Are you making the motion? Yeah, I, mean, I can make, make the motion. I'll make that motion. Second. Bring them to second. Question. Bring them I. Colon I. Colon I. Can I. Okay, so moved. That's basically it. Anybody else have old business? No? Uh, normally we don't have uh, public uh, speaking, but I don't know. Does anybody want to say anything? No? Okay. okay. I'd just like to point out or, or uh, Saturday, January 9th is Law Enforcement Appreciation Day. It's a national, uh, a national day. So, um, folks at home and folks that are here, just uh, it's a good time to uh, thank a police officer or troop job that they do. Us with having a very departments that cover. So, anyway, the ninth is Law Enforcement Appreciation Day. They could cop for what they do, and um, it's been a tough year for them. So, been a very tough year for law enforcement. So, yeah. exactly. Nothing for executive session, and I thank the board for uh, keeping us on board for another year. Yeah. We, we, we appreciate everything you do, Brian. I mean, I know, I know we, we, we joke around and, and rib you quite a lot, but I'm just so glad that, you know, Farrakh and McCartney are on your firm, so. Yeah, uh, oh, you too, Nugent too, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> actually added a fee for the chop busting, so it's uh, $20 a joke, so that's fine. <laughs> wow. Uh, You're very, uh, very lucky to, to have the firm. Glad that. Uh, thank uh, yeah. Thank, I think thank Mr. Jeralman for uh, making that introduction way back when in 2015, and things are working out. So my first appointment here. had much more fanfare and you know applause. And there, there's going to be a parade outside in the dark parking lot afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's funny you say that. He's actually coming tomorrow to start oh. start the lights. Awesome. Yeah. Good. Uh, the cold, sure the cold wins. weather, the cold weather put a little damper on him starting sure. last week. So, listen, I'm sure every ambulance chasing lawyer in the county is going to be out there waiting for the first slip and fall. So. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, don't, no, uh, don't no offense, no, no. Mr. You know. McGinn. Please do not give yeah. them any ideas. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, don't worry. Uh, just uh, uh, on behalf of me, I want to thank everyone for a great year. We're looking forward to a uh, another, you know, stellar year here. So. Uh, return to normalcy. Yeah, and hopefully we could get out of this COVID pandemic and return to uh, a little sense of normalcy. So I hope so. I hope so. Oh. Executive. Our, our next meeting will be next Monday, January 11th, 7 p.m. Uh, right here. Yep. Okay, I'll make a motion to adjourn. I want to make that, uh, to second that motion. Call the question. King am I. Cologne, aye. Cardone, aye. King I. Okay, so moved.